Hi, this is Ethan with another episode of Science and Sailors. Today I'd like to continue discussing different positions on board. This time I want to talk about the bosun's position. And the bosun is particularly relevant to Josh and I, since this is my current position, and it was Josh's first officer's position. The bosun is an officer on board who's responsible for overseeing all of the maintenance of the ship, but only the traditional aspects of it. So they would only do stuff that would say in the 1700s. So the sails, rigging, hull, deck, and woodwork would all fall under the person's jurisdiction. Engines, electronic, and planning system? Not, actually. They are all the engineer's responsibility. So what exactly does that all entail? Well, for starters, the boat needs to be intimately familiar with the structure and woodworking of the boat that they're working on. He or she needs to conduct regular, thorough inspections of the boat and maintain a working to-do list for repairs, as well as a routine maintenance list, and to keep things working smoothly. This involves maintaining a bosun's log, which records all of the maintenance that are kept on board. During rigging inspections, every single line, shackle, block, and carbon must be scrutinized with every detail. Make sure it's good in good shape or whether it needs to be fixed or replaced. The bosun also needs to know a lot of different skills. He or she needs to have some carpentry skills to maintain the hull and the deck and the cabin tops and the bunks. They need to know how to cock to keep the seams watertight. They need to know how to paint, tar, oil. They need to be familiar with every line on board, where it goes, what it does. They need to sew patches into the sails. You know, different knots, whippings, lashings, seizings, mousings, servings, <laughs> and when, when to use each. Fun fact, rope work is called Marlin Spike Seamanship. And whether they are afraid of heights or not, they need to go up into the rigging and be comfortable doing so. Because that's where a lot of their work takes place. All of this must be done while training and overseeing the unlicensed crew. So the bosun position must be have leadership and organization skills on top of everything else. The bosun may also be responsible for the sailors on deck while the boat is sailing. Bosun may give verbal commands or use what's called a bosun's whistle to give commands. Often the bosun goes on to become a mate or maybe even a captain someday. And traditionally, the bus would also be responsible for all the discipline on board, and most commonly was flogging and throwing them into the bosun's locker. Although we don't do corporal punishment on board anymore, it was often used in traditional maritime world. Now, sounds like a lot of work for one person, doesn't it? Well, it is, but we have a lot of help to do it. The bosun's probably not doing all this work by himself or herself. Instead, they enlist the, and oversee crewmates for help. Some ships even have a bosun's mate, which is essentially the bosun's assistant or trainee. This is how bosuns learn how to do their own job. Do you know what any other tasks the bosun may need to do on board? And what challenges may be presented for bosuns in the tall ship sailing world? This has been Ethan with another episode of Science and Sailors, bringing the Bay Shore to you.